What's up Famous Minds? And in this tutorial video, we're going to show you how to make window decals on a US Cutter SC 25 inch series. Step 1, you're going to want to sign into your Vinyl Master Cut program. So step two, I like to go to my cutter and I like to adjust the speed between 3 and 500 and then the pressure you're going to want to adjust about 50 to 60. So to adjust the speed you're going to want to use this button push down and then the left button right here will adjust your pressure. So when you put your vinyl roll in you want to make sure the shiny side you know right here like the colored side that's facing up paper side facing down once you have it all adjusted in there you're going to want to do a sample uh, roll just to see and what I usually do is press enter and then I'll hit the down button and enter again make sure it's it's rolling straight if it starts curving the side adjust your your roll just a little bit different. Now that you've had your pinch roller adjusted, you're going to want to highlight your image. So you just scroll and highlight it. Once you have it all highlighted, you're going to want to go to this little cutter part right here. Once you have it all highlighted, you hit the cutter part. You want to make sure that this box that says mirrored isn't checked is not checked because if it is it won't cut right now you only use the mirrored part when you're doing now if you want to do multiple designs like right there it's a 12 inch roll so we could put two on there to save a little bit of vinyl you're going to want to go down to the spool all part right here and hit spool all it's going to take a little bit to boot up but you're going to look right down there and it'll tell you how many copies so for in this case we're going to use two copies wait till it flashes up and let you choose the amount of copies okay so we're ready hit two and then you see right there I always double check so it's a 12 inch roll so it should be able to cut the 11.5 and then go down here where it says cut hit cut I'll ask you to confirm hit yes now you look right there it's cutting your your design out It's going to be a little close to get the two images on there, but we'll see how it goes. So if you look right there on the other one, the thug goes way to the edge. See, now it's cutting off the, now it's cutting off the thing. So you want to push enter, I hit reset, let it go back. So you, you wasted one, but at least you got one. So now you know just to reduce the size a little bit, you should be able to cut it. But if it cuts up onto your, onto your machine, it'll dull your blade, plus it'll screw up your machine. So, you just got to know that you got to give yourself four to seven inches. I only gave myself five, so that's probably why it didn't cut all the way to the side. But the pressure and the speed is correct, because if you look, you know, there's no really no tear. A couple little spots right there, but we can fix that. Now that you have all your, your uh, decals cut on on your vinyl cutter, you're going to want to weed these out. This is probably the most difficult part of the whole vinyl decal making process because these are super sticky. So they like to stick to each other. So if you peel something off, make sure it's completely off because if it touches a little bit of the other thing, it's going to stick. You're going to ruin your whole decal. So when I start, I like to take my flashlight like you've seen in the past. Then I like to weed out the inside of the letters first. Once you get all the inside of the letters, 
Now this one's going to be not too difficult just because the letters are a lot bigger. And that's another thing that's a pain in the ass is the little fragments will get stuck to your tweezers or your picking tool or whatever. So... Once you weed out all your letters, insides, that looks good. Get find a corner, and when you weed it out, it's a little different than t-shirts because you want to kind of press to the thing and keep it kind of close to the thing rather than just peeling off hard like on the the uh, t-shirt. And what I like to do is I like to weed it in sections. So now that we have that little section done, it just eliminates the chances of it sticking together and the letters coming up on the other sheet of the vinyl. So when you do this, make sure it's a clean pass, you're pulling it out. And once you have that done, you'll be ready for the last step of the vinyl decal making process. Just a little bit of a piece of advice. When you do something with like intricate small lettering, like if you look at this one right here, see how small the letters are? This is going to be very difficult to weed out because sometimes the letters want to try to pull up. So what I usually do is I'll do it, like I said, in sections. So I'll maybe do this top half, maybe use some scissors or a blade or something and cut that, and then do a little more, cut that until you get to the bottom. And then you can kind of pay a little more attention. Because sometimes you might have to, when you're weeding it, you might have to push down and then weed a little more so the letter doesn't come up. Especially, like I said, when you do intricate small lettering like that. Now that you have all your decals cut out, you're going to want to start measuring to put on the transfer paper. And then I like to use like an X-Acto knife or something just so you can get a straight cut across quick. You can also do a little trimming around the edges of the actual, just so it's easier to put it on the Before you actually put your transfer paper on there, I like to take a squeegee, make sure there's all the bubbles out of there. So when you put it on there, you're not starting off with bubbles. And how I like to do it is to fold it down like this. They so have two separate spots like that. And then line it up like that. And then take your squeegee and just go down all the way across until it's at the end. Do one more good pass through your whole decal, your squeegee.
And then all you gotta do is trim around the edges. Like so. Make sure you're, you're leaving yourself just a little bit of room so you have trim room. And there you go. You have your decal.